Uh, some people in my course are, are uh, receiving the following um, error message in Eclipse. Your project must be configured to use a JDK in order to use JSP. So this video is a short video that's going to discuss uh, this problem and how to, how to fix it. Uh, so um, this problem is coming uh, from the, um, uh, the, the Google App Engine plugin in Eclipse. So what we're doing here is creating a, a, um, a, a web application using the Google App Engine uh, plugin for Java. And, um, and then you'll see here, the, the, if you open up this, uh, this problems a tab and, uh, and expand on errors, you'll see the, the error message right there. Your project must be configured to use a JDK in order to use JD, JSPs. And that's that's being generated because, as you can see here, there is um, there's at least one JSP file in the project. And um, the issue there is that the Google App Engine plugin is using um, a Jetty as a web server. And uh, when, when Jetty encounters a JSP file, it, it will translate that JSP file into Java source code and then with that and then it takes that Java source code and compiles it into Java bytecode and then it loads the bytecode in a instance of the Java virtual machine it uses the class loader to load that bytecode and then it can access that functionality uh, but in that process the uh, when the when the Jetty web server uh, takes the translated JSP file the one that's been converted into Java code it needs to have a Java compiler and that's uh, that's the complaint here that's the problem is that um, that there is no Java compiler that's known uh, to the Google App Engine plugin or to to Jetty I'm not sure how it's how it exactly works but that is the, the underlying issue and uh, so let's take a look at the solution I'm going to go up to this not to the project actually it's a global setting so I'm going to go up to window and uh, select preferences and actually I'm, I was just looking at it so if you look at that's what it's normally going to look like you'll get this list you want to expand the Java um, branch and uh, inside there there's install JREs and this is probably what your situation looks like you know or it could be JRE 6 whatever this here if you look at the path right there this is a path to um, the uh, JRE which is Java runtime environment this distribution of Java does not contain a compiler and uh, that's the problem this this distribution of Java here the, the JRE contains only um, an executable that implements or, or that implements the um, Java virtual machine so you can run Java code in it but you can't you cannot uh, compile Java source code into Java bytecode uh, so uh, what we'll do is we're going to add the um, we're going to add a, a JDK a Java development kit Java development kit has the as the virtual machine in it as well as the compiler so it gives us more and that's used by developers so click through to this screen add the JRE so we want the JRE that's within the JDK that's the uh, the way to think about it I believe so let's go ahead and and this first entry here JRE home let's take a look at that click on directory and uh, you need to search for this well first of all you need to have a JDK installed so if you go to the um, you know Oracle's uh, Java website, you need to locate um, a JDK. They also refer to it as the standard edition. So you find the JDK within the standard edition, uh, or you could install another edition as well. It's uh, it's not to be the standard edition. Let's see the uh, so let's go ahead and uh, and try to find this thing. I'm going to go into computer. I uh, see and uh, program files and uh, inside program files is um, is Oracle I don't believe it's in there it's under uh, Java I think let's take a look at that 
I skipped right past it. There's Java. And I look in there. There's two two folders under Java. One is the um, the uh, JDK. As you can see, that's says JDK 170. The other one is the JRE. So what we're going to select is this JDK, and that's the. It's asking for the home, and this is where we stop. We don't drill down into bin, or we don't drill down into JRE. We just stop here at JDK 1.7 etc and select that that will be the home it's going to take a moment to compute it looks good it's not complaining about anything let's go ahead and finish on that now this check here means that the jre7 is going to be the the default um, uh, java runtime environment that's being used so let's let's change that to the jdk now this is good just like this um, the other thing you could do just to make sure everything is is really configured well we could, um, uh, although I don't think it's necessary, you could in fact remove that, it's not a big deal. So now we, we only have uh, one option here. So let's go ahead and hit OK on that. Look down here, the problem is gone. If, if that's not disappearing for you there, then uh, what you might want to try doing is cleaning. Uh, just give it a clean, see if that uh, straightens it out as well after performing that function. So. That's basically it. Um, for those who need to know what the JDK looks like on the Java website, let's go ahead and, and uh, find that. Uh, this is not it. When you get here, that is not it. You want Java for developers. So let's see. This is, this is the JRE. This is only the Java uh, runtime environment, not the um, not the build environment, it's not the compilers. Let's go ahead and try JDK. I'm going to search on it. There it is. Java Standard Edition Downloads. JDK is right in there. Let's take a look at that. And here it is. So we've got um, a bunch of uh, choices here. And these all have um, uh, the compiler in it. This is, uh, once again, you look at the list right here. This is JRE. This does not have the compiler and the other development tools. There's some other tools in there as well. And then here we have the column for um, for JRE. This this would be the download that you want. All right. I hope that fixed your problem. That's it for now.